If I had to make a bet, I'd bet on Colin Kaepernick not wanting to play football anymore. And you may say, but, but Tim, he just did that tryout thing, right? Yeah, he did a media event. Okay, he did a media event. He, he apparently snubbed the NFL because he wanted cameras there. They said no. So he said, I'll do my own event. Well, surprise, surprise. Kaepernick is passed over again as the injury-plagued Detroit Lions sign their 11th quarterback of this year instead of going with the controversial free agent. Now, some people in this story, they talk about, I, I think they say, you know, Tom Brady and some other football uh, uh, well-known athletes have said that Colin Kaepernick is good enough to play, but just people don't want to sign him because they don't want to take the heat. If it were true, in my opinion, that Colin Kaepernick did want to play, then he would have gone to the NFL at their event without the press, and he wouldn't be doing things like this. Colin Kaepernick speaks at unthanksgiving celebration, criticizes U.S. Let me tell you something. You have to know by now that the high profile political nature of what you're doing is divisive and causing problems. You have to realize that these companies sell football games and merchandise and what you are doing hurts sales and hurts their business. Why would you hire someone who yells at your customers? Could you imagine that? Could you imagine going to Starbucks and you walk up and someone goes, you're getting decaf. Don't you understand the problem of the process? It's like, I don't care, dude. I'm here to buy coffee, right? So these football, you know, these sports leagues, these teams, they want to bring on people who are high profile because it generates interest and money. People want to come see the game. Colin Kaepernick is not that. And if he really wanted to play, would he keep doing this? No, 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 no. Dare I say it? In my opinion, I keep saying that, you know, I don't want to get sued. I think Colin Kaepernick is trying to drum up a, uh, he wants to be a martyr, okay? He wants to do as much as he can of like, oh, I should be on these teams. The reason he wanted cameras there's two reasons I think he wanted cameras, and it's not for the reason he stated. He was saying something to the effect of, you know, the NFL wants to do these tryouts. I want cameras there so that no one can claim I wasn't good enough. Well, the cameras came and the, and the, and the scouts said he's kind of average, got some accuracy problems, but you know. And some other, you know, star football players have said he's good enough. I think he wanted two things. He wanted publicity. And he knew they don't want to be involved with him. So he wants to be a martyr and say, look how, look at, look at me. They know I could play, but they don't want to hire me. His real goal, in my opinion, is to make a career off being a personality. Let me tell you, man, what's the longevity of a football player? Not that long. Some, some people play forever. Now I'll tell you this. I know very little about football. I'm not a football guy. I'm a skateboarder. But I do know a bit about politics, marketing, branding, business. And from my perspective, as someone who's not in the world of football, I look at what Kaepernick is doing, going to this like unthanksgiving thing. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it's branding. It's marketing. It's great PR. You, you got to hand it to the guy. Like he's running his business really, really well. He's not that great of a football player. He's not going to go down in history as one of the greatest. He can go down in history based off of his oppression and his martyrdom. And that's why he's fully embraced this. I think he stumbled into this. I think he did the, the kneeling at the uh, national anthem thing just because he was seeing all this media and then it caused some problems. But I think he realized, hey, man, this is a path towards, you know, a, a real future outside of football. Because how many football players leave the, leave the sport and stay wealthy? And, you know, I, I can't say because I don't know a whole lot, but I do know there's a lot of athletes who after their prime, not good enough, fizzle out. They, they end up going broke, they lose all their money, and then everything comes crashing down. A lot, of these, a lot of these athletes are irresponsible with the money they make. They waste it. They, you know, and, then, and then when the time comes and they're no longer signed, no one has any interest in them, they're not famous anymore, they're gone. Some people have become famous actors. Some people have become television hosts. Kaepernick saw this, again, in my opinion, and said, I'm going to be a famous you know, political personality. Who cares about football? This is a path forward. Now, look, in football, you, may, you might make a lot of money playing for a certain amount of time. But think about the long lifespan, right? Like, you know, I, I thought about this when I was a kid because I've, I've been playing music since I was little or skateboarding. And the problem with both of those is their longevity is really diminished. Now, skateboarding has the worst. You got to be a spec. Like, in the end, skateboarders who make it beyond like 25 years old are exceptional. And there's like 20 of them. But most of the top tier skateboarders are like 19 and 20. And then what happens? You blow out your knee, you get surgery, you're not as good as you used to be, you turn 30, and then you're like, not going to be the best skater in the world, and the competition is fierce. You don't have these, like, the same kind of contracts. There are some people who have made themselves personalities outside of just being skateboarders, and that's where the money is. I think Kaepernick didn't see any path forward 
in the NFL. Like, he was an, he's an average guy, right? It's like, he's, he's good. He's good at football. He's one of the best for the NFL, you know, for the average person. But in the NFL, it's like, yeah, he's average. So I, I guess we should read this story because there are some quotes, but I want to talk about the un-Thanksgiving thing. So I, I got to be honest, I'm not, I'm not a football person. Daily Mail reports the Detroit Lions have become the latest injury-plagued team to pass on controversial free agent Kaepernick in spite of an urgent need for the position. This seemingly suggesting nobody wants to touch the dude. Like, he's, 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 he's you know, he's bad luck. Rather than adding Kaepernick, who has not played since the 2016 NFL season, Detroit opted to sign Kyle Sloter off the Arizona Cardinals practice squad on Saturday while adding journeyman Joe Callahan to their own practice squad. Finding a new quarterback became an imperative for the Lions in recent weeks after injuries to longtime star Matthew Stafford and backup Jeff Driscoll forced the team to sign an 11th signal caller on the season. You know, I want to add something else too. It's not just about his politics and sales. It's also about, is he a team player? I got to say, based off what he's done so far, he's doing these, these, these promo deals based off his politics. I don't think so. I think he's in it for himself. Now, I, I get it, man. Athletes make a lot of money. So to an extent, they have their own careers and brands to worry about. I think this is a guy who's not thinking about the well-being of the team. He's thinking about what am I going to get? So here's what I want to show you something because they go over his stats to talk about whether or not he should actually, actually be playing compared to these other people. Let me, let me, let me read some other things, though. Uh, Senator Chris Hurdle said, you might not like Kaepernick, but it's impossible to say he doesn't belong in the league when David Blau is the starting for the Lions on Thanksgiving Day, tweeted Michigan State Senator Curtis Hurdle, a Democrat from Detroit. Yeah, we get he's a Democrat, though. So they actually go down to like uh, his, his, his record. So let me read this for you. Again, I don't know a lot about football, but they say this. Previously, both Green Bay Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers and New England Patriots quarterback Tom Brady said they feel as though Kaepernick is good enough to be playing in the NFL. And Rodgers went so far as to tell ESPN that he believes the former University of Nevada star remains a free agent because of the protests. But I can get it. But they say this. However, Kaepernick won only 11 of 35 starts from 2014 to 2016 and had lost his starting job by the end of the 2016 campaign. Dare I say it? Is it possible the dude is just average, but was on a downtrend, knew that his career was in trouble, lost his starting job and said, I got to find something else. Maybe, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to get all conspiratorial, but maybe it's possible. Someone said, you need to figure out how to stand out from the crowd because your time is coming up. You're, you're, you've only won 11 to 35. You're off your starting job. So he said, what if I do, you know, what can we do to get attention? Hey, politics is really big right now. People, you know, orange man, bad, all that stuff. Actually, I think this may have, this was before Orange Man Bad, or was it? Or was this? Yeah. So th this is during the Orange Man Bad, Orange Man Bad era. He enters this. I think it's entirely possible. Some you know strategist said, "Listen, man, you should talk about these 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 popular you know leftist progressive stuff that's really big right now." Maybe he went for it, or maybe it was an accident. Maybe he saw something on Facebook and then was like, "Man, you know." And then someone talked to him. He had to get the idea for kneeling for the national an anthem from somewhere, right? Well, he sparked this big hubbub, and, it, and it's, turned, it's, it's turned him into a household name. It really has. He got a Nike deal. Here's the thing, man. What's the, what's the true goal of any one of these people, you know, playing in these sports? For the most part, it's to play the game and play it well. But, like, you know, like, like everybody knows, you know, you're, 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 you're only going to be at your peak for a certain amount of time. So then, sure enough, I'll just, I'll, I'll say this, man. This is from yesterday. Colin Kaepernick speaks at un-Thanksgiving celebration criticizing the U.S., they say on Thursday, Kaepernick spoke at the Indigenous People's Sunrise Ceremony, also known as Un-Thanksgiving, on Alcatraz Island in San Francisco, California. The event is intended to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Native Americans occupying the famous island, which previously served as the site of a federal prison. So he tweeted this, spent the morning at the Indigenous People's Sunrise Ceremony on the 50-year anniversary of the occupation of Alcatraz. The U.S. government has stolen over 1.5 billion acres of land from indigenous people. Thank you to my indigenous family. I'm with you today and always. Now, listen, man, I fully understand the problems of, you know, colonization and all that. But I'll tell you this. Uh, I'm pretty sure the U.S. was heavily involved in, like, I don't know, the Geneva Conventions and the Hague Conventions, passing international law, laws that prevent the future colonization and conquering of lands. Yeah, we got to a point where, as a civilization, most people in the world were like, yeah, you know what? We recognize we shouldn't have done that, or, or, or they shouldn't have done that, but we're different today. We've learned, we, we, we've expanded civil liberties and civil rights, and we're doing a good job of it right now. So here's the other issue. 1.5 billion acres of land. Are you talking about, like, 
the sparse populations and the lands that were around them that were then occupied by denser populations. It's complicated, man. But I'll tell you this. We had a history of European colonization. A bunch of countries were formed. This is where we are today. What, what, do, you, what, what do you propose? You know, what's, what's, the real, what's the real solution to this, this claim of decolonize? It doesn't necessarily make sense. The people who run these countries today are not from these other places, and we're a nation of immigrants. A large portion of the people in this country came from all over the world much, much later after the land was already claimed. So now, be, like, you know, it, it, so, so the argument to me is, is kind of silly. We protect rights. There are a lot of messed up things the U.S. government has done as, and continues to do. We can argue about, but, but let's, let's, let's get away from that whole argument. I'll, I'll, I'll keep this one a little bit shorter. Colin Kaepernick, if he really wanted to play football, if these other top athletes are saying we know it's because of the protests, why would he keep doing it? Why would he go and speak at this event? It's because this is his career choice. I don't think the dude wants to play football. I'm pretty sure he enjoys playing football, but come on, let's be real, man. You're going to get injured. You're going to get a head injury. How many, how many of these guys would love to, after a few years, cash out, do a Nike deal? Has any, who, who, how many people got deals with Nike? Stand, you know, stand for something, even if it means sacrificing everything. He's not sacrificing everything. You got to deal with Nike. He's playing exactly the card he needs to play to make money and move forward. I think the dude's smart about it. He's got, a, he's got good people around him, and they're saying, this is your play. You got a few years left in football, man, but you can do 50 years of political punditry. Or not punditry, but being a personality. He's going to write a book. How much you want to bet he's going to write a book? He's going to be a martyr. He's going to say, when you stand up for what you believe in, they come for you, man. They take everything away from you. He's going to say all this stuff. And in reality, you know what I always tell people? There's a few things you need to know. You get what you ask for. And the other thing is that most people who claim to want something are lying to you. People take what they want. People do what they want. So I, let, me, let, me, let me tell you a story. I knew somebody who told me they wanted to be an international reporter and go cover these stories around the world like I had done. You know, I'd been to Egypt, Morocco, Ukraine, Brazil, uh, Venezuela. I've been to all these countries, Thailand. And they said, I want to do what you do, traveling around the world and covering this news. And I said, all right, go do it. And they said they couldn't afford it. And I was like, well, you know, I understand it can cost some money, but I got to be honest, you could, if, if you can save up like, you know, 500 bucks, you can get that round trip ticket. I kid, I kid, I kid, I kid you not. You can find international round trip tickets for that price. And it, it, it doesn't mean it's going to be easy to go to certain countries, but if you want to go to Europe, for instance, and cover some of this migration stuff, it's not that difficult. Just, just save up a couple grand over a few months and then go and do it. And they told me that's not possible. And I said, but wait, hold on. You have an apartment in Brooklyn. It's like, a, it's like 1500 bucks a month. It's like some ridiculous number. And they were like, well, I like my apartment in Brooklyn. I'm like, okay, then you are buying exactly what you truly want. Yes, I like my, I want to give up my apartment. I want this and that. Well, sorry, the world doesn't work that way. Okay. I was sleeping on couches when I was working for Vice, saving my money. I always have because I take what I want, or I should say I work towards exactly what I want. And that's what people do. Colin Kaepernick is not working towards getting in the NFL. He's not cooperating with them. He's not uh, negotiating. He's setting up his own special media event to, sh to show his throws, and he's not that good. He's clearly one of the best football players in the world, right? Okay, that's, that's, a, that's, that's a fair point. But in relative to the actual NFL, he's about average with some accuracy issues. That's what, they, that's, that's what they've reported. So you take a look at what he's doing, and I will tell you this. It's not just him. It's everybody. Someone will tell you, I really wish I had X. Okay, if that were the case, why aren't you working towards getting it? Some people say, I don't know what to do. Dude, just go do things. Do something, man. I wanted to play music. You know what I did? I went and played music, and that's all I did. I would play on the street. I'd play in the subway. I would play shows. And then eventually I was like, yeah, I don't really want to do this. So I'm going to do something else. I worked for nonprofits because I wanted to, to, to be focused on some kind of like I wanted to affect change in a direct way. And then I realized they're just businesses. So, you know, one day I just said, I'm going to go do a thing. I went to Occupy Wall Street. I did what I was passionate about. I followed what I wanted. And that's where I am today. But I can tell you this, man. I know so many people who will lie to your face and to themselves and say, man, it would be great to be a rock star. If that were the case, you would sacrifice. You would give up anything to reach that goal. And they won't do it. They won't. If this guy wanted to play football, he would stop the politics because he knows it's bad for business and it's hurting everything. But the reality is it's the inverse. He's pretending to want to play football because it's good for business and it's getting him what he really wants to speak at these protest events, to sell his brand as a martyr who was kicked out of football for daring to stand for something. But you get the point. 
I won't repeat it. I'll leave it there. Look, man, the dude can do what he wants, okay? I got respect for him. I think it's a, it's a, it's a bold strategy. It's worked out so far. And, you know, you might, you might hate the guy for his politics and for what he's doing, you know, to football and all that. And that's fine. You can disagree with him. But you got to admit, he's running his business really well, isn't he? Let's not kid ourselves, though. His business is not playing football. He hasn't played football in, football in years. He, he, the only reason he's relevant is because he's doing this, speaking at these protest events and then complaining about not playing football. See, that proves it. They're whole, they're, yeah, okay, whatever, man. But I'll, I'll wrap it up. Stick around. Next segment's coming up at 4 p.m. YouTube.com slash Timcast. It is a different channel, and I will see you all there.